starts within you. Why do I say this, ladies and gentlemen? Why this topic? So when I say cyber, I'm referring mainly and significantly to the internet and the digital platforms we all know, like the back of our hands. Firstly, let me remind you the obvious. The internet is something that can, you know, now be considered an essential part of one's life. We are living in an era where life would nearly come to a standstill without the use of this technology. Our, ge uh, our generation is a digitalized generation already and there's not really a point of debating on its pros and cons and whether or not we should be using it. Because let's be real, even to find information as to why it's bad to use and to prove it using valid evidence, 99.9% .9 of you will have to Google it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's stop debating on its pros and cons and let's keep in mind that literally everything has its major ups and major downs. And so does the cyber world. However, unfortunately, we'll still see and hear a lot of innocent people becoming victims to the adversities of the internet. I have not come here to change the user platform of the internet, but I sure am here with a small suggestion to reduce the extent of issues that occur through the internet. My dear friends of my generation, you are the targeted population of this speech. Here are a few tips for you to keep in mind. Number one, integrity. Practice the quality of integrity, my friends. Integrity simply means being genuine and standing strong for what's right, despite of what others think of you, despite of peer pressure and anything that is considered trendy. Every time you engage in something that you're unfamiliar with, I suggest you do your research and find out if it's suitable for you and see if you can withstand the goods and the bads of it. So for example, let's take, um, okay, by the age of 14 to 15, teens are most likely to create social media profiles. And trust me, don't do this just because your friends are doing it. My older sister and brother say it's not very interesting on there. However, though, if you're really curious, first ask your parents and see if they're okay with it. Then analyze yourself and think if you'll be able to handle the attention of unnecessary people. If you'll be able to stand strong, if you'll be able to stick to your core values and dignity when posting on social media, um, interacting with the unknown, and sharing personal details. If you think you're not ready to stand strong for what's right because of external pressure, then don't do it. Simply wait until you're ready. You know, however though, we're humans and we're bound to make mistakes. My advice for you is that you become the type that learn from your mistakes. You know, rather than the type that gets encouraged to engage in mischief for the cheap thrill of it. The case of social media is just an example, my friends. What I want you to remember is to stand strong for what's right and have integrity. Number two, involve your parents. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. Dear parents, you too have a role to be played here. As much as we understand that there is a generation gap between us, it's high time we meet in the middle and adapt. Look, we know you guide and protect us, but also please understand us. I advise my friends of my generation to make it a point to have in-depth conversations with your parents, compromise a little bit for them and gracefully make them understand our point of view. Doing this will build really healthy relationships in your family. My mom and I can vouch for this. Leading to trust, trust which will lead us to being more open with them, even at the face of uh, hard topics of conversation. Linking this to our main topic of cyber safety. Having our parents back us up 
will always assure us of someone trustworthy to turn to, even at the face of anything unfortunate that could possibly happen through the digital platforms we so often use. With these two very important tips, I conclude my advice, once again reminding you, avoiding the digital world will get you nowhere. Safety on the digital platform is vital. Be true to yourself while on the platform. Connect with your parents just as much as you connect online. Um, by this, not only will you be able to maximize the benefits of using the digital, digital world, but also grow as a commendable individual influential to all around you. I mean, at least that's my goal.